point, you're saying that I have no voice in this conversation. You do. You are fundamentally unreasonable, and the position you are taking is an inherently racist one, because you are dismissing the position of someone on the basis of his skin color. And that is outside the bounds of your experience or your lack thereof. You know nothing about my experience. The police ever brutalized you, wrongfully stopped you, spread you on the ground. Spare me, Mr. Million Dollar Lawyer, this talk. I'm trying to... Let me ask you a very simple question. I don't deny, as I've said for five times, that this country is flawed. It's deeply flawed in questions of race, obviously, and that police brutality is something that needs to be addressed. I believe that. And we're not addressing it. However, however, you are making a larger case that the country itself is a rotten place. And my point is, for a rich guy like you to say something like that, because you have benefited as have I, as have lots of people like us from this country, and to dismiss the whole thing and entire portions of the population as immoral <laughs> is itself like disgusting, you're, actually. You're putting words in my mouth. No, I, I, I have not done that saying. at all. What I'm saying is we live in two Americas. One block, You live one in my neighborhood, I bet. Don't give me that. We live in two Americas. I'm not going to listen to this We live in two Americas. One block, one block. Where do you live? And until we have a reconciliation conversation, it doesn't matter. It does matter. We live in two Americas. I bet you send your kids to If I'm super wealthy, I bet you live in my neighborhood. So that doesn't mean I can't be offended by the police? Of course you can be offended by the police. Or I'm not racially oppressed? I can't be offended by the race. Don't have a meaning of garbage. We live in two. That's why you can't stop. Stop. Because you know they're discriminating. In what neighborhood do you live in? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Well, you said you're not in two Americas. You live in my neighborhood. We, I may live in your neighborhood. Spare me. But you you've never been racially discriminated against like me. I'm not, you know what? I've, I've been bullied by people like you for I'm not going to take it from a guy who lives in my neighborhood. This is manifest white privilege right here. Because you can't relate. What neighborhood do you live in? What neighborhood do you live in? What neighborhood do you live in? I live in Northwest D.C., west of Fox Hall Road. And I bet you live there too. Wealthy there. Not as wealthy as yours. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Bolden. Thank you. Lou Holtz is a college football.